Alright, so this video is for 423 incomplete dominant and codominance worksheet. So I'm just gonna go over real quick what you do in here. Um, it, it is a Kami assignment. It's probably easier if you just use the drawing pen to fill out your Punnett squares instead of typing, but do whatever works for you. So here it says cross a red bull with a roan cow show Punnett square. Well, up here it says that red is capital R, capital R, white is WW, and roan is RW. Now this is something new. Usually you just use one letter and we use capitals and lower cases of that one letter. But when you're doing incomplete dominance and codominance, you use all capital letters and you can blend them together for this heterozygote that expresses both traits. So it says red bull, which would be RR, with a roan cow, so that's RW. Okay, and then you fill this out, R, 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 R here, R, W, and then R, W. Um, switch colors. So then it says, um, what percent are red? So this one is red, and this one is red, so that's two out of four, so that would be 50%. And then what percent are whites? Well, there's no whites, because white is W, W, so there's no whites. And then what percent are roan, and that's these two here, so that is 50%, two out of four. Um, so here you have a roan bull and a roan cow, so roan, again, is R, W, and R, W, and then you're going to fill that in, R, 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 W, R, W, W, W. What percent are red? Well, there's one there out of four, so that's 25%. What percent are white? Well, that's one right here, and that is 25%. And then what percent are roan? And that's two here out of four, so that's 50%. So that's how you fill that out. You're gonna keep going, cross some bulls. Here you have chickens, but it's the same thing. The only difference is that the letters change, so we're using Bs and Ws, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. And then here you're doing snapdragons, but again, it's pretty similar, and you're just filling out the Punnett square. Snapdragons show incomplete dominance, whereas this Andalusian chickens and these bulls are co-dominance, because it's both colors at the same time. Then you have some Dr. Seuss here. So here's an example. It says birds can be blue, uh, white, or white with blue-tipped feathers. So blue would be capital B, capital B. And remember, you can use whatever letters you want. So right here it says you can use whatever letters you want. Um, I'm using B, two Bs for blue, two Ws for white, and a BW for blue with our white with blue tipped feathers. Flowers can be white, pink, or red. So we could use W for white. We could use um, R for red. And then the header, the one in between, it has to get one of each. Okay, so it has to be RW. You can't do like PP for pink. That's not how that works. Okay, it has to be a blend of the other two. Uh, the blend here, so we have curly hair, so let's do C for curly, and then spiked hair, S for spiked, and then the curly spiked hair would be CS. So one of them has to be a blend of the two letters. All right, you're gonna fill out the rest of these and then you're gonna do some punish squares between um, circle and star-shaped eyes. So if we did star-shaped eyes was like SS and circle eyes was CC and then these would be CSs, okay? Um, or whatever letters you want to use, it's fine. You're going to fill out these planet squares about the circle and star-shaped eyes, and then you'll turn that in. So this is just practice for incomplete dominance and codominance planet squares.